Connecticut utility regulators taking a hard line on Connecticut light and power tonight. The utility that suffered hard from public outrage after that slow response to those big outages last year is taking another hit tonight as the Public Utilities Regulatory Authority issues its draft decision on its storm response. Chief Political Correspondent Mark Davis standing by live in Stanford where the governor has just gotten word of a big decision at highly critical of the state's largest electric distributor, Mark. Hi, Darren and Sonia. Good evening, everyone from the south side of Stamford tonight, where we just spoke with the governor. News 8 has been on this story from the very, very start, when hundreds of thousands of Connecticut residents were without power for up to 11 days. Following Tropical Storm Irene last August and the freak early snowstorm, the autumn nor'easter, two months later at the end of October. The gathering of information on the first storm response actually started last September and the second was added when the second long power outage occurred in late October and early November. In their decision, utility regulators say what town leaders and the public said all through the restoration, that CLNP response was inadequate and that the company was unprepared, something they have now admitted. The Attorney General said that there should be major financial consequences, that regulators should reject up to half of the recovery costs that CLNP wants about $300 million, that ratepayers should not be burdened with that cost because the company messed up so bad. Today, utility regulators say all this will be considered when a final decision is made on the rate hikes to recover those costs of the storms. I think it's very much what we expected. Obviously, the two storms were horrendous, um, and, and to some extent, uh, the performance of the utility by their own admission was horrendous. Uh, that's why we had new legislation passed that gives us broad powers uh, to make sure that uh, this sort of thing doesn't happen in the future. Now, the public appeal process, if CLNP wants to make any arguments against this draft decision, the public appeal will be held later this month. Live in Stanford, Mark Davis, News 8.